Stop. Here's the play. Here's the play. How do you bring attention to your brand? You Controversy. Intentionally do something. Yep. Like what Gucci did. I'm telling you the whole, what's getting ready to happen because they didn't already plan to meet. The CEO of Gucci That's right. is getting ready to meet with Dapper Dan in Harlem next week. No, this week. He's flying from Italy to Harlem, the CEO of Gucci, right? They're going to gonna have a town hall meeting. Because, you know, Dapper Dan is, is one of the designers now for Gucci. Okay. Right? Okay, black dude. He's getting ready to meet in front of everybody with the CEO of Gucci and talk this blackface shit out. Okay. The people are going to have an opportunity to ask questions, give comments, this, this, and that. Right? Mm-hmm. So now, at the end of it, Gucci is going to apologize. Mm-hmm. They're going to say how sorry they are and how much now they want to work with the community. Bruh, Gucci getting ready to go viral all over fucking Oh, so, yeah. So the will. Niggas always want to be accepted. They know that about us. So create a conflict. Mm. Because you are... Now, I'm saying it's problem, action, solution. You create the problem. Gucci need a massive... They need to be now... Everybody need to be wearing their shit. How do you do it? You create some controversy. Yeah. Bring attention to it. You see, Gucci CEO show up, talk it through with the black man that everybody knows. They come together, handshake, cut a check. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, back to work. Back to work. We got we done put the spotlight on it. We done got the attention. We done talked it through. We done kissed and made up. Mm-hmm. Now it's back to your regularly scheduled program. Programmer. Niggas back on board. Yep. You see? It's so now niggas forsaking all other brands for Gucci because Gucci done made it right. Mm. They ain't even thinking about starting their own high-end fashion line. Mm-mm. Again. Mm-mm. You see what I'm saying? Because those major European labels, in, in concert with those, those stores like Macy's, is the reason why you don't even have black designers no more. Mm. Bro, they worked hand in hand. Bro, I'm going to tell you the playbook when Rockefeller was popped. Okay. Okay? They got a venture capitalist to offer Rockefeller a deal they could not refuse. This is how, this is how business works when you got the bread to buy out your competition. You buy your competition and then you say, you know what? We're going to put this shit in the discount stores because they know we're not about to rock with no shit on no discount store. You, you feel me? They know. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Buy competition and put, so you buy Sean John and put Sean John in Target? Thank you. Oh, man. That's how you effectively destroy the brand mm. so that it never comes back. Mm. Because niggas don't want to associate with nothing cheap. Mm. And you do that same model, it started with FUBU, then it went to Anichi, then it went to Esco, then it went to this. Bruh, they didn't affect it, and then it did Damn. the same thing to Fat Farm. Sure do. It's the same model. Sure do. I'm out, put that shit in them third-rate department stores, mm. and it'll eventually go away. Mm. And you keep Polo, Tommy Hill, Figure, Trendy, and all, you keep them out of them... Kmart's and Walmart's and all that other old shit. How do you do that? I, I, I always wonder, how, how do you do it? How, I, how does, why can't Walmart buy Tommy Hilfiger and shit like that? Because they don't sell to them. Mm. They sell to the high-end department stores. You see? So so if DJ got a bunch of bread and I, and I, can, and I can go in and, and buy Fashion Over... I decide once I buy Fashion Nova where that shit goes. Mm. You see, so now I can I can entertain a deal from from Walmart or Target to effectively destroy that brand under the guise of making it available to everybody. But Fashion Nova uh, is supposed to be available uh, to everybody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? As soon as that shit show up in 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 in, in Target, mm-hmm. we don't want it no more. Oh, we ain't oh. that shit. 
All right. It is now for children. Yep. Of a certain age. Yep. Of a certain age. Say that too. Say that too now. So that's how you effectively destroy black brands. And we so and we so ignorant of business. We willingly sell the brand yep. because we just thinking, okay, they cash out. They offering us eighty million, like with Rockefeller. Rockefeller. They offered J and them eighty six million, so they getting ready. They about to do the big cash out. Hey, they, give me that money to get out the way. Right, give them the money to get out the way to effectively destroy the brand. Mm hmm. And that's how. Your, 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 your European labels stay relevant. Because you can't buy them. You're going to never find them in no, in no, in no you know, third tier. Because they shit, because they shit, because they shit, Gucci is a, fa- it's a, it's a, it's a family though. It's a family name. It's a family. Rock, it's Rock a fashion line. It's not a, it's not a trend. Mm. That's mm. the difference. We create trends. Mm. They create fashion, and they hold that whole Gucci. Fa- I'm saying like lifestyle encompasses that brand. So with polo, polo is a sport that's played in Europe with the horseback. You see, so those clothes are synonymous with that lifestyle. Mm. Monica is a yacht sailor type brand. Mm. That's for rich ass white folks that own yachts and boats and shit. That ain't for niggas in the hood. Because niggas in the hood don't have no yachts. That's crazy. They don't have no sailboat. You see? Tommy Hill figure is made for for uh uh fifty and under white boys, college educated that work on Wall Street. Mm. That's what that line is for. So every fashion line represents a certain lifestyle. That's why that shit don't go nowhere because that lifestyle remains. And, and but uh, the crack is still playing polo. They still riding around on their yacht, and they still on Wall Street. And I, I'm I'm saying, what about Gucci? Like the family, like the man who made up Gucci. That that Gucci line has stayed in the family. What if, that's an aristocratic. That's when you got inherited wealth. Yes, inherit. That's what I'm saying. Yes, yeah, Club. yeah. With Fendi and Prada, those are exclusive European brands. You see. Christian Dior, shit like that. Them brands been around. Gucci been around over 100 years. Damn. Yes. This shit ain't nothing new. Fendi done been around for 80 years. Polo done been around for 60 years. And goddamn, and Rockwell would here for them. <laughs> at best. Yeah, at Before best. that shit wound up in Target. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They had a good eight, ten year run, got bought out, and that shit wound up. You know what I'm saying? So what about Dapper Dan? So what about Dapper Dan? I, 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 like, he's a he's a designer. Oh, okay. That's retired by Gucci because see, if you remember, and you may not be old enough to remember, but I remember when Gucci was pretty much exclusively white. People, rich white folks wore Gucci, and you didn't even know that it was Gucci. Unless you really had an eye for how it was cut, or or just mainly how it was cut, yeah, like certain colors that in, in in designs that they had. like my wife knew all about that shit because she studied that. Okay. When niggas start getting on Gucci, niggas want Gucci all across the chest, yeah, all on the side of the leg, yeah. You see what I'm saying? All on that's nigga shit, yeah, because niggas want to be seen, want to be seen, so want to be seen, said, okay. We see the revenue now coming from this. Let us go and, and, and hire this black dude in Harlem called Dapper Dan, who, who is a fashion designer. Bring him on board, and he can create the quote-unquote nigga Gucci brand that appeals to niggas. Yeah. That got Gucci all down the, uh, the sleeve. Uh-huh. White folks don't never wear that type, that type of shit. That's for us. Yeah. Because we want to be sick. You know what I'm saying? We want everybody to know what we wear. This Gucci, nigga. Right. But if you look at Gucci back in the day, 
that shit wasn't it. that shit wasn't made like that mm. because they didn't have to. It appealed to a certain aristocratic lifestyle with inherited wealth. They knew what they were wearing. Mm. It wasn't important if you knew or not. That's crazy. Just like with Rolex, Rolex wasn't putting all that ice in their goddamn watch. Niggas got them on that. You would have one little diamond at the at the twelve o'clock. And that was it in your presidential. Niggas don't. Start want, niggas start getting money. Now they want everything iced out. Yeah. Starting with the bezels and everything. You see what I'm saying? Bust down. Niggas gonna see me, nigga. They gonna see me, nigga. Right. <laughs> <laughs> niggas gonna see me, nigga. <laughs> so yeah. now his he got the he got the you know what I'm saying. Bust down low. Now his grill got to look like his watch. Yeah. His chain got to look like this. You see what I'm saying? That's that's ours. That's the shit we do. But some folks don't want that type of shit associated with their brand long term. Nope. Cause they know we gonna be on some shit. Some more shit in a little while. We bounce around like that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So 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 that's the whole move, man. So so now we gotta we gotta see the value in our own culture enough to create brands that are associated with a lifestyle. That's what that's what Diddy tried to do with Sean John, but they bought his ass out. Yep. And wind up putting it in a discount store. Yep. You see? Shit crazy as fuck. Same thing with Beyonce line. Them jeans she had with the, the same thing with apple bottom. Mm. Yep. All that shit. All that shit dies the same day. Someday, and that's somebody. Somebody that's really in that industry need to do a documentary on that shit, like real talk. So what about Kanye? So huh? what about Kanye? What is he doing? Only only way a brand stays viable that a hip hop artist creates it's got to be up under a European brand, i.e. Nike, Adidas. You see, that's the only way your shit stays. Oh, relevant. okay, yeah, yeah. It can't be relevant independent. Independently, yeah. It's gonna stay relevant as a as you know up under a white brand. Yeah. A subsidiary like Jordan. Mm. Under Nike. Otherwise, that should be in Kmart. Mm. That's the only way your shit stay relevant. Because it's up under some shit. That's right. crazy. It's up well. under some shit that they've already said. It's gonna, Adidas going to stay around for a hundred more years. Nike going to stay around a hundred more years. You see what I'm saying? Reebok, Puma, all these, all these major brands that with global reach, they're going to continue to be around. The niggas that's, that's endorsing them going to come and go. So Nipsey, you hot now? Mm. You on poom. Yeah. In, in 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 five years, when your shit is starting to tape up, it's gonna be somebody else. So they just keep rotating. Mm. Just like Sprite. Right. Just a new face. New face on the old brand. That's the game. And they throw your ass away and get somebody else. See. Man. But we we think because they're giving us the bag, it's all good. It's all good. You're really playing yourself. Low bomb. Kanye West said something that was real deep about three four years ago before he got all with with, 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 with you know with the mental illness. He said mm-hmm. niggas is like or, or rappers is like the patina on the glass. Like when you go to the bar and you order your drink, you know the little cherry or pineapple they put yeah. on the top of the glass. Mm. And that's what the rapper is. That's what the rapper represents, like the decorative piece, like the umbrella in the goddamn margarita. Mm. Like mm. the rapper don't don't control the ingredients of what's in the glass, <laughs> like the actual mixture. Yeah. The, the rapper is just like an accessory that's attached after the fact to make the shit look nice. Yeah. But niggas get it twisted and thinking that they the actual drink power broker yeah. the drink itself. Nah, yeah. you just make the drink look good. Mm-hmm. And he was profound in that. 
I'm saying this is yeah. That's how dangerous Kanye was because he was breaking that type of shit down. Yeah. When he was trying to get into the fashion industry, and he was like, "I'm trying to do major fashion, and y'all telling me all I could do was fucking t-shirts." Mm. I'm saying it's something to that, Ayo. Hey, Damn right it is. He t- he he's saying all they let him do is put his name on, on t-shirts. t-shirts. I understand. Like, nah, you can't you can't play in this arena. Mm mm. I, 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 I mean, he kept on and kept on and kept on. This was long before the year. Mm. That wasn't even a thought then. But he kept at it. He never, he never gave up. He was determined. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And they finally let him in. And that's the only reason why the Yeezys is successful is because this is a, a subsidiary to, un, under a major European or white brand. Yeah. That shit would be irrelevant if it was on its own. They don't let it survive. They got to make the money off of you. You can't make no money in this fashion thing independent. Like unless, unless I'm getting something off of you. Right. Right. I mean, because they've so been that long enough. You know, at the end of the day, bro, this shit is by design. Yeah. Because you can't tell me black people be taking these kind of L's just by coincidence. This shit, shit no. is orchestrated. Just like with anything else. Like I said, they've had a, 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 a real big head start and got their hands and all this shit like this. Like, I mean, it is, I mean, the fuck. But the one thing is that we can, you know what I'm saying, stop with this retarded shit, and that, that's that's pure point blank. Now, we can damn sure do that. Bro, we, we can stop with the retarded shit, but I'm going to tell you where everything is going now. See, with Diddy and Jay and a few of these other major um, hip-hop moguls, See, it's a reason why Meek Mills is now rubbing elbows with Robert Kraft, Ruben, and all these folks. See, they they about to have what's called neo-colonialism now. Because niggas is waking up. Yeah. You see, there's an awakening taking place among black people. So white people know that they can't, I'm saying white people, though, and, and really, to be white means you got to be, when I say white people, I'm talking about billions. Cause okay. Because really the only people that, that really want really white. Yeah, okay. With real power. Okay. So the billionaire class know that they can no longer remain in the forefront of a thing because the tide is shifting. Ooh. They have to disappear. Okay. Okay. You, okay. It's an awakening taking place. Okay. Among black people because see the oppression has gotten so so blatant. Blatant. Take this shit no more. Yeah, it, it's become blatant now. Right, it's become blatant and it's in our face. So now what they're going to do, they're going to prop some niggas up. You see, to be the face now. So, so now I got to put... Is why niggas, this is why these billionaires like Robert Kraft that own uh, New England Patriots and all that, that's why they're associating themselves with me, me, me oh, yeah. and Diddy. And yep. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to prop these, these rappers up. Yeah. They're going to have to pay them major bread. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But they're going to say, hey, we've fallen back. These, these are the faces. These, these, yeah. These are the now, if you notice, you got more of these rappers saying that they're billionaires. Mm. Jay's saying he worth a billion. Diddy's saying he worth a billion. Now, Nas just signed a deal. You see what I'm saying? Where he's getting like half a billion. You see what I'm saying? So now these are th- three. And I don't think it's a coincidence that all three of them come out of New York, too. I don't think that's a coincidence either. But I'm saying in, in politics you have, and we've seen this play out in South Africa. See, prior to the, 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 the uh, 55 African countries all kind of going into independence, you had every country was like what South Africa was during apartheid. White folks ran everything, even though the black people – was the majority, right? Yeah. You in Africa. Shit, we it, you got over a billion people on the continent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? White people began to realize, like, we cannot.